This is day 663, seventh month, second year since the first known outbreak. It started off as an annoyance. It progressed to something a lot more than that. And now, I just don't know how much longer it can last. I'm afraid the end is coming so much sooner than we think. This is John Seven signing off. What happened? You were in an accident. I lost control of my car and I didn't have time to react. I ran you over. Don't try to move. You know, you really should be more careful when crossing the road. I told you not to move. Where am I? This is my place. Ever since the breakout, I've taken the liberty of making it my own. You're lucky, you know. You didn't sustain any major injury to your body, but you did take quite a nasty blow to your head. Everything seems intact. Except for your central sulcus. This here. The bridge between the frontal lobes and the parietal lobes. I'm afraid that that has been damaged quite badly. So what does that mean? It means you might struggle to perform some complex mental functions. Huh? Well, to put it simply, you won't be able to perform any high-end math equations. So nothing's changed then? Good. You really shouldn't get up, it's... Uh... How do you know so much about this kind of thing anyway? I'm a doctor. But I also develop serums and antidotes. I've been studying the brain, trying to figure out a way to counteract the virus. I've tried, but nothing I've done works. I just can't figure out the right formula. The serum is just missing the right sequence which creates an immunity. You know, if you want, you could stay here. It isn't a lot safer than the streets. There has been quite a bit of activity outside lately, but, you know, there really is no guarantee. Thanks, but no thanks. I've got to get home. It's getting dark. Wait. Take these. Cars in the back. By the way, Thanks, John. Chris, it's nice to know I'm not alone out here.
Let's take you inside. Run some tests.
Interesting. Very interesting. It's almost as if your brain is ignoring the virus. But that still doesn't explain the physical impediments and speech entrance. I need a certain chemical. Uh, uh, I think I know everything. I have everything to retrieve it. I know what it is. It's just you'll have to get it for me. Let me write this down. You'll most likely find it at an old picture framing company. It used to be a lab. It should be there. Shouldn't be hard to find either. I don't think anyone's gonna buy that out anytime soon. Yeah. It won't be hard to find. I'll remain here and conduct tests until you come back.
This is day 665, uh, seventh month. I finally figured it out, a cure for the virus. I've had to go in hiding now. One of them got through into the house. Chris, if you get this, the reason you still have control over your mind is because of the accident. The virus couldn't fully infiltrate the frontal lobe of your brain, and, and that's where it harbors itself. It's affecting the rest of your brain, and, and it's altering your behavior. Chris, if I don't make it out of here alive, you need to get this information to my colleague, Paul. He often does water tests at the old reservoir block. With this information, he should be able to develop a cure. A cure, Chris. But I have some bad news for you. The virus, it's gonna take over your mind in a matter of hours. But if you hurry, you may be able to be cured before it fully takes over. We have to go back to the beginning to figure out how this ends. Okay, ready and go. Go. <laughs> 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 